and there it is in all its glory and we're really going to give it a, uh, a wind loading test today. The world has ended. I'm going to need an antenna. Hi, and welcome to the Art of Engineering, a place where art meets ham radio meets engineering meets complete stupidity. So it's finally happened. They've done the unthinkable. They've turned on the 5G and all the fully vaccinated people have started eating each other. What are you going to do? Well, one thing you're going to need to do is call for help. And you're going to need an antenna to do that. And just think about it. When Armageddon comes, all those antennas are going to be gone. What will Armageddon look like? It could be an atomic bomb. It could be riots because of a lack of toilet paper at Woolworths. It could be soft x-rays coming from space, disrupting the infrastructure, making your ham station the most valuable communications resource on Earth. So I know what you're thinking. You're saying, well, the whole world's been destroyed. How am I going to make an antenna? Well, aren't you glad I'm here? Do you have a piece of coax? Well, if you're a proper prepper, you should have lots of this stuff because you're going to need it. And this length of coax can be turned into an antenna. And all you need to do is hang one end as high as possible and you've got a beautiful and resonant VHF antenna. Now, the great thing about this antenna is, if the world hasn't ended, you can go and buy yourself a $9 length of PVC tubing and make yourself an antenna in less than a couple of hours. So I'm going to demonstrate the construction of that antenna. For the more visual learners, I'm going to point you to a channel, G5TM, and this is the guy that put me onto this antenna. He didn't invent the antenna, but uh, he's got a great video and a great series of videos on how to create this antenna because this antenna can be basically modeled to cover cover the 10 meter band, the 4 meter band, the 2 meter band, etc, etc. But I'm also going to give you a link to a Wyson site down below that actually um, illustrates how to make this antenna on the actual PVC pipe with the number of turns that are essential to do it and everything else. Now, what a great project and what a great place to go if you need all things ham. Bunnings Warehouse. Well, I guess you can't guess where I am. Yes, you guessed it. I'm at I'm at uh, Bunnings Warehouse. I've got myself a three meter length of 20 mil conduit, and I'm going to turn that into a two meter antenna. Hopefully. Hi, look, this video is obviously very light in tone. It is not seeking to make fun of people who are into prepping because I think that uh, obviously the situation the world presently finds itself in, and it the best of times finds itself in is quite a traumatic thing and it's quite natural to want to seek ways to ameliorate your worries and also perhaps to lessen the inherent risks being on this planet basically. My sincerest apologies for crappy sound. The uh, wireless microphone is playing up as usual. Just stop dropping it. Um, basically what we've done is we've got our, um, our RG58 and we have stripped it, and we are going to take off this outer braid as well with our uh, trusty side cutters. And that length is core plus dielectric is 530 millimeters, and then the complete um, part is 351 mils. So basically, we go 530 of the center plus the dielectric, and then we go down, and I've gone down to the bottom of this, and that will be 351. So what I'm going to do is, it's going to live at the top of this 3 meter length of conduit. It costs me the grand sum of $8.35. So what we will do is, um, it will be attached at the, uh, at the top of the conduit. And then I will drill my first hole um, at where I've marked the beginning of the choke. And then I'll work out how many... Ter ate a bug. 
how many turns is um, the length of 10 t um, turns. Um, it, so you've got a half turn and a half turn at either end plus um, a nine in the middle. And, um, and then we will run it down the center of the, uh, of this uh, conduit. What's the matter, Skippy? What's got you all excited? You want me to come with you? Down to the very end, and hopefully we've got enough uh, coax to um, to do that. Uh, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to hope. Hi, it's that part of the video. I'm not going to ask you to hit my PayPal link or hit me up on Patreon because I don't have any of those things. All I'm asking you to do is hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you found this video interesting, useful, annoying, probably more annoying than anything else, let me know, because I'd just like to see some comments. That would also be really nice. And obviously, if I can manage to get monetized, I'll be able to buy that Baofeng and I'll be able to plug it into that antenna. Or if I make more money than that, maybe even a nice EIC or ICOM, you never know. Anyway, back to the video. So uh, there you have it folks, um, as per the dimensions here, we have 530 mils of just the center of the actual coax RG58 plus the uh, dielectric. Dielectric is the plastic bit that covers the center conductor. And then we've got, just for those that like to learn visually, 351 mils um, from that point there to the bottom of this tape. And then we have 10 turns to uncouple the antenna from the coax, stop uh, RF getting into the shack. And also, it uh, acts to help tuning as well. So, we'll be running this through the Nano VNA and seeing whether uh, it actually works or not. So this is how it looks so far. Um, if it works all right, I might take it down and actually weatherproof it. Well, no, that's not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> so inside here, we've got those links that I talked about earlier in the video, dielectric and central core, and then uncut coax. We go into 10 turns to decouple and help tuning. And then the um, coax runs all the way through the center and comes out the end here. And then it runs in the shed here. And um, that's where it's gonna go. And it'll be a reasonable height, hopefully. And uh, we'll then chick it, chuck it on the VNA, nano VNA, and check the SWI. Turn the bloody fan off. Okay, um, we are on the nano VNA now. We're, we're scanning from 144 to 148, approximately across the uh, across the uh, two meter band. And um, as you can see, this antenna has a beautifully flat SWR. One is to 1.09 at 144. And it just ever so slightly increases as we get up towards the other end. Um, at the very other end at 148, we're looking at about one is to 1.45. So um, I would say that that's an unqualified success. And what's really nice is you know, we all know it's inevitable. We'll be scrolling around and we'll see the $25 Baofeng radio and it's just gonna to be too much of a, a temptation. So I now have an outside antenna. My God, you're still here. Thank you for watching the entire video. If you've watched the entire video, obviously you wanna see more. So 
hit the subscribe and let me know in the comment section below, would you like to see more antenna videos, more transmitter and receiver videos, what you're interested in, and obviously more goofy stuff. Well, goofy stuff, that's a given, that's gonna happen because uh, I can't help but be a clown, that's my general nature. Anyway, see you in the next video. This will get me to 10 minutes, hopefully. Bye.